Ah, good day everyone and welcome to another puppy and kitten update. So first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who showed so much love and support to the previous video where I rescued the four blind puppies. Seriously, so much generosity in the chat with the donations. going to be so helpful and not only these puppies, but all my future puppies and kittens that I foster in the future. But today's very exciting because I'm going to be naming these puppies. Uh, well, I'm not actually awesome. Oscar's gonna come over, I promised he could name them. And also, I want to do a bit of a test on the puppies to check their eyesight and see how blind they are. I know for sure one of them is like 100%. I've noticed that two of them, either they've gotten some eyesight back or they're just like partially blind. So we're gonna investigate today, but let's go check on them right now. So the weather has cooled down for me to let the puppies outside. It's about mid 70s now. And this is a contraption I came up with in the meantime until the kennel with the roof comes in so they're just eating a little stack right now hi oh you got some food in your mouth you are so needy you just need to be held and loved honestly like it's so sad and so sweet at the same time just like they're just desperate for love so much like they just want to be held and touched that's something that i've realized through fostering is like literally these animals crave human interaction like, they just want to be loved right where are you going? Do you want to go explore? It's really tough to tell how blind or not blind they are because they use their other senses, like hearing. So like, when I come over, I'm like, can you see me or can you just hear me? Like, what's going on? Hi everybody, how you doing? Hello, are you ready to be named today? Yeah. Look at the legs going out straight. <laughs> Frogger, you have frog legs. Kitten. What are these sweet little cherubs doing up here? You got some toys? <gasps> you like your tunnel? Oh, we got someone stuck between the tunnel. Come out of there. Come on, squeeze through. Yeah. Oh my God. These little twins are so freaking cute. Oh, I just can't. If you are not subscribed to my blog channel, I am posting an hour-long video of just kittens playing with some cute music, just some relaxing, peaceful vibe. If you wanna just watch some kittens for an hour, it's gonna be up on my vlog channel, so make sure you go subscribe and watch it. <laughs> it's gonna be adorable. Here's just a little preview. Okay, the naming ceremony is about to commence. We have Oscar here. I gave him permission. I don't even remember saying this. <laughs> Every oh. time I've been asking, I'm like, when can I name the litter? When can I name a litter? And this one, I kind of took matters into my own hands. Yeah, you I did. said, I'm just gonna name these ones. All right, well, I guess let's get started. What is the name of this one? Let's go over the like honorable mentions. Cause I have, I did pick the final four names, but I feel like I still want to throw the other ones out there. I was thinking about Bing Bong. Bing bong! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm glad that one to make the cut. Chonkers, I thought could have been good. Chonkers is sweet. Malibu Barbie was my last one, but freaking Trisha Paytas took that from me. You took it from her! <laughs> okay, so let's start off with this child. Okay, this one's name is Mike Wazowski. Honestly, right. I kind of right. see it. But you can never just call him Mike, you have to call him Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so cool name. my guess of the theme is Pixar. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty. Our first name, Mike Wazowski. That does look like a Mike Wazowski. Come on. It actually be really serious. Does. Okay, this is the next one. Okay. <laughs> what is that laugh? <laughs> oh, it's just so funny holding him because the belly is so round. Who are oh. you? What's your name? Okay, this one is gonna be Baby Jack Jack. Baby Jack Jack. Are you sure? Why? I don't know. What do you mean? Baby Jack Jack? Now that you don't like it, it makes me want to do it even more. Jack Jack is cute, but why the baby? Because he's a baby. You can call him Jack Jack, but know that his legal government name is Baby <laughs> Jack Jack. Like when he gets a driver's license, it's going to say Baby Jack Jack on the, on the driver's license. Fine. <laughs> okay, we have little froggy legs. Always has to stand like this. Like, <laughs> doesn't have okay. vertical legs. There you go. Okay, I already I already knew this one from Who the is job. he? 
His name is Linguini. Linguini? Linguini. I don't think I like that name. Come on, look at those noodle legs. Are you serious? This is Linguini 100%. Be serious. <laughs> okay, I kind of see on. it. Come on. I kind of see it. Last but not least, we have the sweet girl. She's a princess, so let's give her something good. Her name is Leah Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. Leah Michelle? Michelle. How yeah. is that Pixar? It's not, but I think Leah Michelle could be in a Pixar movie one day. And she's blind, she can't read. That was my whole thing, yeah. The second I knew that they were blind, I was like, one of them has to be named Why don't we name them after iconic blind people? Because then it gets problematic. You can only, you can only have <laughs> True. You can only have the one. Leah Michelle. Look at the face. Come on. She's so pretty. She can't read. She can sing well, though. She can. Now that don't they're all. Don't tell me just to leave. Just leave us in the <laughs> Now that they all have officially been named, we need to see how blind they actually are. Let's do this. Starting off with Miss Leah Michelle. So I looked up some tests online and they said to hold your hand about 18 inches away from their face. Can you see this? And if they blink, that means they can see. <laughs> oh Lord. No Let's reaction. Let's try again. Oh no. Hi. Leah. Leah, <laughs> you can't see the sweet girl, I know. Oh, Lord. This girl cannot see a thing. <laughs> so oh, no. All right, let's test the next one. Just for comparison of what, like, normal dog sight is like. Moon, come here. Let's show them how you can see. Sit. Stay. Link. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. So let's go test the other dogs. Okay, so baby Jack Jack <laughs> is actually the most chill out of the group. He's so sweet and so cuddly, very quiet. So let's test and see your vision, okay? Can you see this? Oh no. Oh, no. oh yeah. That's the hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. This seriously breaks my heart. Like I thought that there was some vision because they're really confusing me. It must just be that they can hear me. I think that there might be one that has partial vision. Let's get the next one. Okay, this is Linguini. Linguini definitely does have no vision. You can even see it in the eye. This one's looking that way. This one's looking that way. But let's just do the test for test sake. Oh Lord. Poor guy has no clue. Oh gosh. Um, I do still have hope for Mike Wazowski, so let's grab him and we'll see. Last but not least, Mike Wazowski. When I went over to grab him, he like started barking, so I'm pretty sure he can see. Oh, he did it. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> oh, he can see. It's like either partial or fully. He needs little glasses. Ah, oh, this little face. <laughs> Come on. This little piggy. Paws in the air. This little piggy went to market. If he has only one eye that can see, that is literally the perfect name for my mind. Guess what came in the mail? Why did I make this with my fist? What's going on? I have new merch available on Crystal Wolf and I'm wearing it right now, actually. Get ready. Sakura's having her moment yet again. Look at how adorable this is. Let me show you in the mirror so you can see the full look. Here she is in all her glory. And of course, y'all know, I didn't just stop with just a t-shirt. For a girl on the go, we have a cute little tote bag. And for a girl who wants to be comfy and cozy, we have the hoodie. It's so cozy inside. Oh, if you want to live your witchy cat fantasy, this is the item for you. I wanted to go for like the distressed vintage look on everything. It looks like worn in, like, wow, you've had this for like years. It looks so vintage and cute and magical and whimsical all at the same time. Of course, you already know, you can go to shopcrystalwolf.com, check out all the options available in this and send me any pictures if you end up getting it. I'd love to see you. Honestly, you know what I think we need to do? I think we need to go get Sakura's opinion on me using her face and her likeness. So let's see if she's gonna sue me or if she's okay with it. Hi, I just wanted to show you the new merch that just dropped. Did you throw up? Girl, what happened to you? You had a rough night, honey?
What were you doing? Do you like the new merch? Do you like the tote bag? Do you like the hoodie? The t-shirt? Oh, suddenly you're not talkative? Are you gonna sue me pressing charges? Oh. Clearly Miss Sakura is not talkative today, but the kittens are very talkative. Who wants merch made of them? Anybody? Oh, you do Pearl? You want some Pearl merch? Oh my gosh, y'all have so much to say. You're giving Sakura a run for her money. There's a new Supreme in town. Who's the next Supreme taking Sakura's place? Is it you? It's you, huh? <laughs> You guys sound so cute. Oh, mother's returned. Oh my goodness. Hi. Did you guys cause a curse on Sakura where you stole her voice? Y'all know Ursula, the little mermaid? Think of it, Miss Pearl. This could be your future. Your face could one day appear here on this shirt. If you play your cards right, you might have a career in this industry. Why are you just so sweet? Why do I have the sweetest little face? I love this girl. All right, well, I do think that this is a great place to end the video. Again, if you'd like to purchase a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, or a tote, link is down below. And until next time, I'll see you next time.